Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of our God. So let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today's reading is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 25 to 27. It reads, At that time, Jesus declared, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding, and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now this passage of Matthew chapter 11 verses 25 to 27 can be divided into two parts now the first verse 25 to 26 you can say that it is divided as heavenly things revealed to infants and verse 27 it says that the father revealed in the son today we are going to focus on verse 27 so verse 27 reads as all things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Now the starting word, all things, are delivered unto me. It appears to imply that through the Son alone the Father works, teaches and bestows His gifts. The word no one knows shows that God the Father communicates via Spirit the knowledge of Himself and everything else only to the Son and through him to the rest of humanity. No one knows the Father except the Son and no one knows the Son except the Father. Now in this we understand that God introduces us to the inner life of the Trinity, revealing himself to us as the Father, Son, and the Spirit. Now, I'd like to give you an example. As a father and son in our lives. Now, a father figure, okay, take an example. Maybe a pious person at home, a very good person, but outside he may be very stern, he would be strict. And people would assume that he is very stern and strict. But only the family members know that he is a good person. Similarly, the children may be notorious outside. Or they may be notorious in the home. But only the family members know them. But outside they may act as well. They are very pious. That happens all the time. So in this verse of 27, we see the interconnected relationship between Jesus Christ and God the Father. They know each other completely and we cannot deny that fact. God has revealed all truth, all things to Jesus the Son. They are both united as God together in the Trinity along with the Holy Spirit 
yet they are somehow distinct from each other now this is and will always remain a great mystery but it is also a great declaration jesus is not hiding who he truly is from those who are listening to him he is fully claiming to be the son of god now let us pause for a while and reflect on this verse how much do we know our heavenly father how much do we know our lord jesus christ do we have that intimate relationship with him if not today is the day where god is calling us to have a relationship with him so that just like he revealed thanks to his son jesus christ he is ready and eager to reveal things to us as well praise the lord my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow